This portion is brought to you by the new Petron XCS Complete Combustion System. Fuel your drive. Ayan na ito have lamang po ang Pure Foods 4841 laban sa Ginebra dito sa ating Christmas Day Showdown sa PB on ABC. Maligayang Pasko sa kanilang lahat. Miko Halili kasama si Jason Webb. And the way things have turned out dito sa first half, talagang tamang-tama natin ang Christmas spirit with five technical fouls <laughs> and one flagrant foul penalty one. <laughs> well, obviously, ito nga sabi natin, itong dalawang kapunan na ito, you know, today is Christmas, but uh, they seem not to care. What's more important to them is getting that victory and uh, well, mainit pa yung ulo ng mga ito mula kagabi. Eh. Parang ganun eh. Ay, ganun na lang kamahal yung anilang mga fans na gusto nilang magbigay na pamasukong Aguinaldo with a victory today. Pure Foods, they are looking good. Uh, they had a great first half led by their scoring apostles, Peter Jung Simon and James Yap. And they sizzled in that first half. Palos nagpalitan lang. Ito si uh, James Yap. He was the guy that started out the scoring for their team. Obviously, he is part of that starting unit. Mag-init ka agad ito si James Yap. Akala ng uh, Barangay Hinebra, pagkaupo ni James Yap eh, naku, wala na tayong problema dahil wala si James Yap. But pagpasok nito si PJ Simon, aba, mas malaking problema pa pala because Peter Jun Simon even outscored James Yap in that first quarter. And you know, and that second unit, when that came in, pass a pure post, they really turned things around and gave them that big lead in that first quarter. But Pistol Pete, uh was a uh, spark off the bench really para sa Pure Foods uh, pagdating naman sa second quarter humabo lang Hinebra because of Ronald Tubit so Ronald Tubit was scoreless in the first quarter all his 10 points actually came in that second quarter and that second quarter ito naman ang Barangay Hinebra ang nag-dominate nung second quarter na yun Barangay Hinebra started to run they started to force turnovers and that's why they're back in the ball game Looking at the halftime stats, Miko, kita natin yung Barangay Hina Hinebra. Unti-unti humahabol na sila sa field goal shooting because they had an atrocious uh, field goal shooting percentage in the first quarter. At ang uh, rebounds naman, pure foods naman ang humahabol. Dahil kanina, sinasabi mo, Barangay Hinebra was uh, being kept alive by their rebounding. But now, pure foods has dominated rebounding. Obviously, with assists, uh, pure foods doing a better job. And this was the main uh, stat at the bottom kanina. Kanina, Barangay Hinebra couldn't shoot from the outside. Pure Foods was making everything. At pero yun, uti-uti, Hinebra humahabol na. Oh, uh, magsisimula na ang second half. And if the first half was any indication of what might transpire in the next uh, two quarters, by tumutok na po kayo. <laughs> Because hindi uh, na namin alam kung ano pwede mangyari dito. So we begin the second half with Pure Foods on top, 48-41. Inebra begins the third quarter with JJ Helter, Brad, Ronald Tubit, Eric Meng, Rafi Rivas, and Sunday Salvatore. And we begin the second half What a Sunday special. Lead of Pure Foods down to four. Itong uh, Barangay Inebra, if they can get a quick run, dito sa start natin ng ating third quarter, eh, itong uh, Pure Foods, eh, talaga yung lead nila, mawala na. So ano ang sabot ng Pure Foods at PM3 kanina ng Inebra? Seven to shoot. Raimundo has the basketball. Raimundo sa natitira dito. He fires and misses. At tinulak ni Richard E.C. Salvacion off the playing court. That's a loose ball foul. Now, Kirby Raimundo has been doing everything for his team up to this point. He's got seven points. Meron siyang anim na rebound. Pitong assists. Pero sa pagkakataon yun, tumagal ng konti yung bola sa kanyang kamay. Maybe better to uh, move that ball around. Especially at the start of a quarter. A minute having gone by in the third period. Uh, ball na kay Helter Brand. Swing si Robert Salvacion. Levis, ibabalik kay Helter Brand. Helter Brand on the move. He's setting up Salvacion. 4-3. Sobra. Kapiga ng bola. Levis gets it. Over the Helter Brand. Bagong shot lock para sa Hinebra. Ayun, that's a big rebound, Nico. Dahil tatlong malalaki ang nilagay ng pure foods. Pero sila pa rin nakakuha ng offensive rebound. That is just a sweet <laughs> move from James Yap. Hindi nagmadali, you know? It wasn't a fast-break situation. He used the over-aggressiveness of Ronald Tubit to his advantage. Elterbrand, 4-3. Yes, sir! 3 for JJ Elterbrand. And don't look now, it's just a three-point ball game. Pero pang limang puntos pa lang yun, JJ Elterbrand sa larong ito. On the floor for Pure Foods, yeah, James Yapichu, D, Kirby Raimundo, Romela Dugal, and Roger. Yeah. Things on the upswing para sa Barangay Hinebra. Shots are going in for their team. 
Kita natin at the end of that quarter, the second quarter, they played excellent defense. They're starting to make headway in this game, and the key players are starting to contribute. Meantime, tinawagan ng first personal foul si Ronald Tubit, first team foul, lapat sa Hinebra. Two minutes having gone by in the third quarter, Richard, he picks up the loose ball over to Raymundo, Raymundo. And now James up with the basketball being outed by Ronald to the foot to shoot. He did it as James Yard and the violation. Shock lock violation lapas sa Q4. Itong Barangay Hinebra, kanina pa natin napapansin. Quick hands in today's ball game. Itong bola really getting away from the hands of a lot of Q4 players. Gusto na samang gulati ni Eric Meglat nung bumabantay. But he missed it. And here's Roger Yap. Here's the layup as well. Tulakan sa loob. Romel Aduko tatawagan ng loose ball foul. At siya tatawagan ng technical foul. You might say that's a quick whistle. Pero nakita natin at the start of this quarter, miniting na nung mga referee, ang mga players. And they wanted to make sure that they control the situation. At ito, naging victim na ngayon. Ito si Romel Aduko. Napapakitido lang si Lugol. But yes, he has been tagged with the game's sixth technical foul. Anim na lang, meron na tayong the 12th technical foul of Christmas. One flaking foul. Iba yung iniipon natin dito ah. Okay, back to the ball game. And here's Tubid. And out of Salvacion on the left side. Sends it over to Mink. Mink pull up is good! Marina pa siya sumusubok dyan sa labas. Hindi po abasok. Pero ito na. Pumatas na itong Barangay Hinebra sa Pure Food. We're tied at 50. Ito ang ating kauna-unang deadlock of this ball game. Here's Richard D in a crucial position. And a nice bird, but he missed it. But he will have two free throws. Alam mo, sayang naman para sa Pure Foods yung matchup na yun kung hindi nila gagamitin. Nagpasok sila ng tatlong malalaki. And Richard Yee is being guarded by Sunday Salvacion. Ngayon, Richard Yee may have enough moves para dito kay Sunday Salvacion with his height that close to the basket. Richard Yee did not see action in the entire first half. And Ryan Gregory brings him in for added muscle inside. A so far lifetime member of Pure Foods. Pareho sila ni Ray Evangelista. And Nico is actually in the ballgame to preserve some fouls para kay Romel Adukul. At of course, to get Kirby Raimundo away also. Mula kay dito kay Eric Meng. Dahil alam natin, Romel Adukul, apat na yung foul. Pero siya pa rin ang bumabantay dito sa ngayon kay Meng. Pure Foods on top by 252.50. Here's Helterbrand. Bank from the corner. It's going to be a loose ball foul against Rafi Rivas. Alam mo, mali yung nakita natin doon kanina. Nung may third personal foul, second personal si Romel Adukul in the first quarter, inatake ka agad nila sa ilalim. Ngayong pagkakataon na to, apat si Romel Adukul, Eric Mack deciding to shoot from the outside. Good point. Need time here is he. He still has the basketball, and that's his quick move. You know, he likes that move, that quick move, but he would rather be on the other side of the basket, using his right hand to spin that way. But alam mo si Richard G, really yung strong hand niya, yung right side. Kaya kanina, kinilangan pa niyang tumukod. Ito kay Asel Pasho. That's an offensive foul. Meantime, here's Tobin against Yap. Warrior against Red Warrior, and Tubid will this ferocious battle for the rebound, and it's going to be a loose ball foul against Hinebra. Uh, the true warrior gets the foul. <laughs> no, no, Tubid, uh, really living out yung, uh, niya, yung uh, passion niya. Raimundo, he wants that basketball with 15 on the shot clock. Hinebra, James, yep, 4-3. They move them with a rebound, and the putback is no good. Rivas gets the basketball, so by Pate, para kay Helter Brad, pero kapit na kay Tubid. Tubid has the ball, and Tubid was thinking about that three-point shot, pero inintay na lang niya yung kanyang mga kasama. They go inside, Mink, Mink, fires, scores! 
Yan yung pinapagit natin kanina, ang pagkakaiba nung pag-iatake nila si Adubo sa ilalim. Obviously, Romel does not want to commit that fifth foul this early in the third quarter. Tablano naman tayo, 52, 7 and 27 to go. Outside shot, Adubo, and now Inebra looking for the go-ahead. Down by as many as 19 points in Salvation. It will be Inebra's first taste of the lead on Christmas Day. So it's 7 and 16 to go. Natik pa na rin sa wakas ng Inebra. Kalabangan sa larong ito. 54-52 ang ating score. Nick tied the game with that basket against Adogol. And then Sunday Salvacion pushes Inebra ahead with that layup. Inebra ball in Labang 54-52 as we enter this timeout. Hanap natin ang ating uh, Pure Foods TJ Hot Dog Fan Bite. Ibig sabihin yung cutest PBA fan in the house. But uh, ito, ang dami kasing tao rito kaya hirap maghanap eh. Halos 19,000 fans na nandito sa Big Dome. At ito ang ating nahanap. Ah, uh, ang ating Pure Foods TJ Hot Dog Fan Bite brought to you by Pure Foods TJ Hot Dog. Kids can tell. Ano pala ito eh, mga anak ni Coach Ryan, si Isabel and Ramon Gregorio. Sigur natin ang Pure Foods kinakain. All I can say is, uh, thank God they look like the mother. <laughs> Ayan, halos 19,000 ang sumugod uh, dito sa Big Dome. Mapataga Barangay Big Dome, Mapataga Pure Foods, uh, Parokya ng Pure Foods. It doesn't matter, they're all here to celebrate Christmas with the PBA. You know, they're getting a treat ngayong uh, Pasko na ito. Akala nila, ang mga regalo na tapos na kaapon. Itong laro na ito, parang regalo na rin sa kanila. Dahil ang ganda ng laro natin ngayong araw na ito. Okay, meantime, there's a foul. It's going to go against Tubid. Holy Father, I'm sorry, 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 uh, laban sa Hinebra. So Hinebra's had a good quarter. That may be the one thing that is not going their way sa quarter na ito. As we, hindi napansin ni Ronald Tubid na padating na yung bola. Alos na ang lahat na tayo dito sa third quarter. And we're tied at 54. At samantalang natikman ng Hinebra ang kalamangan. Meantime, here's Elton Brad. And that's a near steal. Tubid over to Makapagal. Open shot! Okay. Previous offensive rebound, Pumihit, Pumira, and he scores! 7-3 bound para dito kay Rafi Rivas. Pero nung pagkakataon yun, makita mo Miko talaga yung haba ni Rafi Rivas kumpira doon sa ibang mga big man on the court. In time, here's Yap, hounded by Makapagal. Pull up the scoreboard. Takbo, takbo, takahinebra, nag-agawa, dapat natulog yung Ingris. And here's Simone, and he is fouled. Only power number four, Rafi Rivas. Kinawa ka ni Rivas itong si Simon. Hindi pa humingi ng dispensa. Okay, Rafi si Simon. Third personal laban kay uh, Rafi Rivas. Sending pistol peak to the free throw line. And the first is good. And Artadi is back in the ball game para palitan si Ronald Tubi. Loose ball foul against Inebra. Great effort there by Mark Pinkris. So we did mention that uh, Barangay Inebra entered the penalty early. Ito, nakikita na natin. Uh, Pure Foods getting to the line because of that penalty situation. Loose ball fouls, they go to the line. Question now, is Pure Foods going to be able to make their free throws? Well, Pinkris makes his first. At ito ang ating Revy Gonforte. Nakas na hindi umaayaw moment. Atin sa inyo ng Revy Gonforte para sa lakas na hindi umaayaw. Tapok si Raffi Rivas. Swing back to action on the court. Second free throw para kay Pingris. 2 out of 2. At balikan lamang sa Pure Foods. 57-56 with 6.05 remaining in the third quarter. 
So it's a double point guard alignment here for the Ginebra with Helter Brand and Artadi on the court at the same time. Here's Artadi, sends it over to Bampagal. Next, bagging body to take this. And it's 7 seconds to shoot. Helter Brand will now operate. Helter Brand, you may want to see Kirby. Open shot, Artadi. No. At the ball, here's Ruth Sakabilang Bani with 5 and 39 remaining in the third quarter. Here's James Yap. Yap, it's going to be hit. And what's the call? There's a foul downstairs. Dami ang mga foul na napupunta dito sa barangay Hinebra and uh, Pier Foods has the right mindset. Pero you, you guys are in penalty. I'm gonna go to the basket and check kung may foul nyo ako o hindi. Third personal laban kay Makapagal. Penalty na ang Hinebra mula nung kanina pa. And that will send former MVP James Yap to the line. And at the middle of that uh, picture, image, Mommy Chris, and sweet baby James. Daddy James, getting two out of two. Here's Artadi, and off Helterbrand. He never down by three, but the guy tries to tie the game. Rebound by the team, Chris. It's an up there, Jones Simon against three Richards. Simon, still thinking, attack, and then gives it up to Roger. Yeah, and here's Raymundo. Raymundo on the move. What a move by Kirby. But on the miss, Elko Brad on the move. He never on the counter attack. Elko Brad over to Bakapagal. Bakapagal is blocked, and the whistle is blown. Court to court action, itong mga team na to, once you miss and you attack, uh, and you miss a layup, automatically yung kabilang koponan will attack you on a fast break on the opposing end. Patuloy pa rin, Miko, ang uh, poor free throw shooting itong Barangay Hinebra. 12 out of 27 from the line, only 45%. Alam mo, labing uh, limang mintis yun. If they made those free throws, eh, malamang eh, nasa kanila na ulit yung kalamangan. Instead, it's a two-point ball game in favor of Pure Foods. It's a little the leading scorer. Usual suspects para sa tender Juicy Giants. Uh, James Yap and Kirby Raimundo. And of course, PJ Simon is the uh, super sub on the floor. Sa matala, tatawagan ng offensive foul si uh, James Yap dahil tunay niyang inatrasan itong si Mark Makapagal na siya namang lumipad. So that's going to be number three on, uh, on James Yap. In the meantime, diba, nagkakainitan ha, itong si James Yap at uh, Mark Makapagal. It's going to be number four. You know, those are what, what are usually called cheap fouls because it's useless not... Useless foul. Oh, oh. layo kasi sa sa play tapos masakit pa ah, hindi pa pwede pala si James Yap dito nursing four fouls here's Big Mama Billy Mamaril Eric Meng tipin wala furious battle for the leather and there's uh, Simon Simon on the move hand off Roger Yap Roger Yap and a brush Artadi aside 13 to shoot para sa Pure Foods on top by two points here's Yap hand time so he can probably post up any guard in the league. Except for Winnie Arbolet. <laughs> <laughs> he can try. <laughs> he can try. <laughs> but I would not suggest. Okay, here's Elter Brand against Simon. Elter Brand on the board. Elter Brand. Come away! Alam mo kung ano naman yung lugi nitong si JJ Elter Brand sa post. Yun naman yung malaking kahalaman niya sa bilis. Two-point lead pa rin para sa Pure Food. 61-59, under four minutes to go in a physical third quarter. Yup, it's going to be a holding foul against Bakapaga. Holding foul number 18, Mark Bakapaga. This quarter, Miko, slowing down with a number of fouls. That have gone both ways. Sabi nga natin, sa simula ng quarter na to, yung mga referees, eh, making sure na hindi na mangyari yung mga nakita natin nung uh, first quarter. Kung, uh, kung ngayon lang kayo nakapagbukas ng inyong TV sets, in the first half, a total of five technical fouls were given away as presents. 
Swerte naman ang mga nakatanggap. Oo oh, nga eh. Makasama pa doon yung dalawang coach, ah. Coach John Wichico of Inebra and Coach Randy Gore of Pursi. Sa kami, ano pa yun, baka makatanggap pa sila sa commissioner's office. Ang dami naman nilang regalo. <laughs> Here's uh, Roger Yapa, no go. Three-point lead for Pure Foods. And here's Elto Brand. Meg, umatake. And he will miss. But he got his hand miss. And he will score. Yeah. Pagkakataon ito, yung si Meg, kaya sinuerte na rin na yung bola. Bumalik sa kanyang kamay. Uh, Mark Finger is unable to contain the basketball. Uh, Eric Meg, he already has 15 to lead his team. James Yap, 4-3. Oh, Simon really skying high to get that rebound. And so it under three minutes to go. Lawang pa rin ang Pure Foods by a precarious point. At yung bola naman ay uh, nasita pang aras ni JJ Alton. So time out muna tayo rito with 2 and 48 remaining. In the third quarter, it's just a one-point lead for Pure Foods, 62. 61. the big dog but uh, Yapon on the right our uh, big boss ABC Sports Mr. Bobby Barrero on the left TBA Media Bureau Chief Willie Marshall you know that's in the memo did you read the memo Bureau. that's how you're supposed to say <laughs> oh see pati si Mr. Rico Meneses uh, yung uh, head ng marketing ng PBA kasama ang aming uh, big boss as well this SGO Shena Olaso of ABC Sports and back to action on the court. Uh, the TF Tres kanina, wala kay J.J. Elterbrand. Atin sa inyo ng bagong TF. Discard to see him 30 pesos lang. E bagong, discard ka na. You know, you get a fine if you don't say it that way. Uh, you get a fine from Willie if you don't say it the way correctly. May regalo ka rin. Nagsulat ka ba? You will get someone. <laughs> Here's uh, Roger Yap yeah, posting up Paul Artadi and uh, really yeah, it's going to be a tough matchup para kay uh, Artadi. Paul number 16, Paul Artadi, penalty, that's the second personal. At kanina pa nga na sa penalty ito ang Inebra. So this will mean two free throws para kay Roger Yap. Sunday Salvacion coming in para kay Mark Makapagal. Jeriap has had stints with uh, 21. And he started his career with Pure Foods, won a championship before moving on to uh, what used to be FedEx. Now he's back to Pure Foods, and the ball is with Artabi, and here's Tubi. Tubi! Uh, Renundo with the rebound, three point lead for the Pure Foods. Here's Rob Sands. And now Renundo. A familiar matchup with Rivas and here's Simon! Yes. Add another assist dito kay Kirby Raimundo. He's gone to that move to beat Rafi Rivas to the basket. Pero ngayon, napansin niya, humihelp na yung mga Barangay Hinebra. Drop pass para kay P.J. Simon. Simon now with 13 points off the bench. Under two minutes remaining deep in the third quarter. And Artadi will connect! Okay. Even surprising itong si PJ Simon because usually yung mga ganun eh at maaga yung shot clock hindi tinitira nito si Paul Artadi but we did mention the confidence is there para kay Artadi. That's gonna be a foul against Artadi. Gusto niya agawad yung bola ang problema. Sinagdala niya itong si uh, Peter Jude Simon. Para sa Pure Foods ang ginagawa nila kung sino yung pinabantayan ni Paul Artadi eh pumuposte ka agad and they're gonna try to beat him at the block use the strength of their offensive guy against Paul Artani. And uh, manipis ang pangangatawan ito si uh, Paul Artani. Uh, Simon makes the first free throw. John Dan Salvador is back on the hard court para magpahinga muna si Kirby Raimundo. Fifteen points off the bench for Peter June Simon. At balik sa limang, abante ng Pure Food, 68-63. Middle of 34 remaining in the third period. And here's Artati on the ball. Bounce pass, Rivas will score. Uh, we did mention Paul Artati is having a great shooting uh, season. Pero yung pasa niya, hindi mawawala yun eh. Uh, his ability to pass is what really made him stay in the league. Here's Sands. 12 to shoot, Paris of Pure Foods. Up by three, Salvador. And he will miss. 
La bigger and bola is not winning Jordan Salvador, but a steal by Tubit. Tubit over to Artani. Getting lightly having trouble with the basketball. Salvasor can pull the trigger. At ito, ha, using muna nila ang kanilang atake. With 15 on the shot clock. Here's Big Mama. Mama Ril. Still has the ball. And now Artani takes. Artani layup. Pajolets. No go. And Artani got his own miss. Sunday special! Tulakan! Magsakan! And it's going to be a loose ball foul. Looks like against Artani. How many fouls did Paul Artani get in this quarter? Sunod-sunod! Yung mga nakakuha niya mga fouls. And uh, like we said, in a present penalty, all those fouls have been turned into free throws. Meantime, Eric Meng, binalik ni head coach Jong Wichigo para palitan si Rafa Rivas. And then he, all, he will also send in the JJ Elton back in a moment. Forty seconds remaining here in the third quarter. Lima, ang abante ng Pure Foods. That used to be a 19-point lead back in the first half. Here's Meng. Mababalik lang sa ating laro. Pinasa kay Mamaril. Mamaril. Here's Artani with 10 to shoot. Mamaril muscling his way inside. And he will have a three-point play opportunity. That's a nice move para dito kay Benny Mamaril. Not panicking. Really very, very patient at the post. Kita natin dito. Pagkatas ng unang bangga. He already knew that he was right where he wanted to be in the center of the paint. Easy jump hook. Three-point play opportunity. But another miss mula kay Billy Mamaril sa free throw line. He's one out of five from the free throw line. Ay, problema na buong kapunan yan. Ha? Ang free throw shooting para sa inyo. The three-point ball game with, uh, with just 11 seconds remaining bago matapos ang third quarter and Pinkris will score on the jump hook. But again, Hinebra thinking that they could uh, lure itong uh, pure foot for a last shot. Shot was available, Pinkris took it. Mamarel! 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 Hinayang na hinayang ang Hinebra doon. Peter Jones, Simon, and the rest of the TJ Giants. Lamang pa rin, 72. 67 against Inebra. Yan ang score at ipsa niyo ng San Miguel Beer, Mayal Wilson. Ang beer na walang katula. Talaga naman napakasaya ang Pasko dito sa PBN. Look who I found. Miss Chris Aquino. Chris, it's good to see you. Matagal ka namin hindi nakita dito. But what a great way to spend Christmas. How did you guys spend Christmas last night? Actually, hindi masaya yung Christmas namin kagabi. Kasi we went, we went to the ER. My mom got sick last night. Um, she had shortness of breath and high blood pressure. So we were in the ER of Medical City until about 2 in the morning. She was actually supposed to come. Tapos the whole family kami manunugod. Since it's the first time na manunugod si Baby Jane, who you can see is really sanay sa microphone. <laughs> so, we're really hoping and praying that she'll be healthy. And um, now that your Foods is number one, we're really praying na sana magtuloy-tuloy. And um, his dad has really been playing great. So, sana um, maging MVP ulit. Alright, thank you. And it's good to see you. And uh, best wishes. Thank you very much for the Christmas gift. Hindi po namin sagot yung ano man germs meron yung aming ano ah sa mikropono. Just uh, well, all our prayers and best wishes to the former president Corazon Aquino who as Chris mentioned is not feeling well. Alam ko naman nung 86, binoto mo yun. Drop sad to the left. But you know the former president is a big basketball fan. Isn't he? She is very much updated to what is happening in the in the PBA. And uh, you know, I, I believe both of us are big fans of hers as well, you know, for what she's done to the country. So uh, we'll get well soon. Get well soon. Meantime here's Salvation. And the ball is with Rob Sands as we begin action in the fourth uh, quarter. I see sweet baby James eh? <laughs> All right, here's uh, Sands on the right side. He sent it inside Big Grizz, and now Simon, Simon, he won't got that himself a and then hammered by Mamaril. 
Alright, kasama natin si Senor Domingo El Conquistador, Dominic Goy, who has a report in here for us. During that last time out, Miko, uh, sinabi ni Coach Ryan Gregorio, alam naman natin kung saan pupotok itong uh, Barangay Hinebra sa loob, so we gotta make sure that we defend the post. Pero isa pang update, itong si Brandon Cabal suffered an MCL tear dun sa kanyang kaliwang tuhod, kaya hindi siya naglalaro itong uh, past couple of games. It actually happened a day before their game dun sa Bacolod City. Miko? So, hindi lang pala si uh, Mark Pagiwa ang uh, absent or injured sa lalang ito, pati si Brandon Cablay. If you've been looking for Brandon Cablay, he will not play in today's ball game. Three time more na kay Elton Brown on the right side, and now he's too big, too big on the move, too big with the layup! Wow, Gatubin got open in that possession dahil ito si uh, Roger Yap going for the steal. Uh, the moment he goes with his first steal, that close to the basket, layup talaga ang katumbas niya doon sa pinapantayan mo. Score up in 75-69, New Foods on top, Salvador on top of the key and now over to Simon. Seven to shoot para sa Pure Foods and now they have to hurt it. Bola na kahit Simon, now siya nakikita dito. It's a three-pointer on the way, no goal. And here's Kubit over to Helter Brad, Helter Brad on the move. Helter Brad, no, Kubit tipping is good. So wala man ang the fast and the furious. And then, gentlemen, the fast and the fearless. Uh, Ronald Tubid, uh, now he's a top scorer for his team. And the uh, energy that he is bringing is there right now. They need the energy from Ronald Tubid sa quarter na to. Beck with an interception. Nebra down by four. And here's Elton Graham. 4-3. He got from Jordan Salvador. critical time for Pure Foods because at this point wala si James Yap, wala rin si Kirby Raimundo at the same time sa floor. Here's Simone on the left side. Simone, 4-3. Rebound para kay Mamarin. No teams changing misses now. With 9 and 27 remaining in our Christmas Day showdown. Here's Mink. Gets Pinkris. So Eric Beck will uh, cut down the uh, deficit to two points as we enter this timeout. Over nine minutes remaining here in a Christmas Day presentation of the PBA on ABC. Back inside of the big dome, all close to 90,000 PBA fans have at Sisigsiga dito ngayon. Sama-sama nating uh, uh, salubamin uh, ang araw ng Pesco, that's of course PBA OIC, Sunny Barrios, alongside uh, Ricky Santos from the Commissioner's Office, and his Commissioner's role, Mr. Perry Martinez, uh, uh, head of our officiating. And here's our No Fear fearless move of the game. Brought to you by No Fear Underwear. Got the balls for it. Christmas balls. I saw a lot of people. Uh, may Christmas tree dyan sa laba. And uh, kanina, namimigay ka. <laughs> Kita ko, may mga regalo kang pinamimigay. And balls din yung pinamimigay mo. Oh, chocolate, chocolate balls. Oh. It's the season for giving. In fact, it's the only day of the year that I choose to give. <laughs> it's not a season. <laughs> it's actually to you, it's a couple of minutes of giving. <laughs> All right, here's Tupid. La, Mamarin, Pontas, Robra. And there's a loose ball foul. It will go against Pure Foods. Loose ball foul, number 21, for the Mundo. My personal lap on the way, Mundo. At uh, yan po ang kauna-una ang team foul laban sa Pure Foods. Adukul is back on the court para palitan si John Dan Salvador. Bear in mind si Adukul uh, has four personal fouls. Inside ah! is Rivas. Long tall Rafi Rivas outside sent the shot. Helpful Brown on the move. He goes right. He fires and misses. Kahalat ng mga mintis sa parehong kupunan sa ating fourth quarter. Field goal shooting for both teams slipping in this quarter. Obviously, this is not the quarter to start missing. Two 
Queer Foods holding on to a two point advantage. And here's Raimundo. Once again, eyeball to eyeball with Rivas. And Rivas now going bola. Helter Brad on the move. Helter Brad for two. And we're tied anew at 75. At yan ang ating ikaapat. Na deadlock sa larong ito. Matagal tagal na. Nuhuli tayo nagkaroon ng deadlock. Miko was back all the way in the third quarter at 54 all. In time, here's James Shep. Oh, just shooting over Tubid. Man with a million moves now has 19 points. Lamang naraman a pure food, 77, 75. Tubid, gusto ba tumawi rito? Now double T, Vivas inside. Stretch and too much muscle on the attempt. Ito na si Roger Yap. Roger Yap and Bob Raimundo! Mabitin yung kanyang layup. Too quick for Groovy Raimundo. Elton Brand! He was going to umbrella before going for the layup, fooling everybody. Wala ang tira ni James Yap. Ang gawa ng bola, Raimundo no go. And it's a ferocious battle in the pit. And a double is fouled. And the basket is good. Napakasakit nung basket na yun para dito sa Barangay Hinebra. Romela Dugol not giving up on that. Actually, hindi lang si Romela Dugol. On one side, you have J.J. Helderbrad. Too quick for the rest of the Pure Food Center, Jim's Giants. Pero dito naman, ang mga malalaking mama ng Pure Foods. Just no quit in them. Pero hindi na kompleto niya Dugol ang 3-point play. Sa mga tweet, 2 points ang naman ng Pure Foods, 79. 77. Under 7 minutes remaining in the ball game. Rivas top of the key. Looking for Kubi. Double team. There's Rivas with a cut. And he will take two. Hinayang na hinayang doon yung uh, mga guardya nitong uh, Barangay Hinebra. Because that's the second time Rafi Rivas had an open lane to the basket. A layup. And the uh, second time also that he's missed. But, uh, mabigat ha. Dahil si Aduko lang tinawagan ng foul. That's going to be his fifth personal. Dami oras pa natitira sa larong ito as Rivas makes his first free throw. Oras na para mag-Sanmig Light. Along-lalo na dahil araw ng Pasko. Sanmig Light, mahaba-habang kulitan, mahaba-habang katuwaan, mahaba-habang inuman. Sanmig Light. Two out of two para kay Rafi Rivas. He has nine markers in the ballgame. At tabla na naman tayo at 79. Here's Raimundo, top of the key. Kirby Raimundo is just playing a complete ball game. Sa larong ito, kinuha niya naman dito, pangapot na foul to si Rafi Rivas. Again, here's that quick move. Koting bangga for the spin move. He is free. He's going for his 12th point, Miko. He already has 11 rebounds. He has 8 assists, too shy of a triple-double. And so Kirby pushes Pure Foods ahead, 82-79 with that three-point play. Alas na ang alahati na tayo dito sa fourth and final quarter. Mink playing outside. Mink goes cross-court. Salvasyon, seven to shoot. At ngayon, bola na kay Heltobrand. Batik na bola. Heltobrand still has it. Mink inabot. Salvasyon fires. Salvasyon got his own miss. And got the under gold stab. Lucky break para sa Hinebra. Ang tindi ng pasensya ng Barangay Hinebra. Shooting it at just at the end of that shot clock. And they're not giving up on that play. Yung uh, tumitira, that is the you know, biggest threat when it comes to offensive rebound. That's why Sunday got offensive rebound. Roger Yap, 4-3. Yes, sir! And that will extend the lead to 4 points, 85-81. The still, impress for Roger Yap. Still over five minutes, but at this point, it seems every shot is already a big shot. Bank pull up. No goal. Bola will go outside, and it will, it will stay with Inebra. Bagong shot lang to para sa Inebra, pero gustong ayusin to ng mabuti. Ang coach John Ruggini. Ang planuin ng mabuti. With five and a half remaining in this crucial juncture of the pivotal fourth quarter. And we'll be back with more action for the Big Dub after these messages.
Shine, the official Elasto Paint, Cosmo Resto Bar, official venue on events. Jerry's Grill, the official bar grill of the PBA. Burlington, the official sports socks of the PBA. Extreme Magic Sing, Extreme Amelie, SM Cinemas. Your life is a movie. Coca-Cola, Moonlight like Gold, Pulse and More, Magic P99.9, Rock, New One of Soul. Back inside, the big dog, and uh, Chris Aquino with Sweet Baby James, still part of this mammoth crowd, unsure of uh, what will transpire in the remaining 5 minutes and 30 seconds of this ball game to be pure foods in Ginebra. Maligayang maligayang Pasko sa inyong lahat at hindi po yung nagagalak. Salo-salo nating, uh, salo-salo tayo nagsasaya uh, sa araw ng uh, Pasko. As we bring you our Buhay Coke shot, brought to you by Coca-Cola. Lahat ng shots, magaganda at walang katulad. Kaya ang Buhay Coke, Coke some more. Let's swing back to action on the court. Bola ng Ginebra coming off a Ginebra timeout. They're down by four. And Nick will muscle his way inside. That's sabi nga ni Coach Jong Ichiko, gumaganda na yung laro ni Eric Nick. At itong araw na to, he has a double-double with his 17 points. Among the of pure foods, 85-83. Five minutes remaining in the fourth quarter. And they moved to unstoppable here in the fourth quarter. He did mention the line that he's having. Pero dagdag mo pa dyan yung ginagawa ni Kirby because the defense of Rafi Rivas, you know, top class when it comes to this league. Malik sa apat ang kailangan ng buli ng Ginebra. Next, airball. Pero last touch against Adoku. Shot one, nine seconds. Nine seconds to shoot for Ginebra. Here's Elter Brand on the move. Salvacion. Yes, sir. Yeah. Yeah. That's a Sunday special. We didn't mention all the shots seems to be big shots right now. Para sa Barangay Ginebra, that's a big shot because that came out of an extra possession. Barangay Ginebra having so many possessions in the support quarter compared to Pier 2. Salvacion now with 18 points. Here's Raymundo going around the world. Oh, he's taking over sa pagkakata na ito, Miko. Lahat, all five players of Ginebra, sinusubukan niya uh, yung kanilang depensa. So maybe pinawagan ng foul is too personal. And Kirby has been the man of the moment here in Palace of Pure Foods. Big Mama, Billy Mamaril, comes in para kay Rafi Rivas, who has to be uh, exhausted trying to keep in step with Kirby Raimundo. Para kay Coach Jong Chico, he's looking for another guy that uh, can stop itong si uh, Kirby Raimundo. Kanina, si Rafi Rivas is somewhat successful. Here in the fourth quarter, though, ito, Kirby Raimundo wants to take over and maybe Coach Jong looking for another guy to stop him. Top shot para kay Nick. Pure Foods defense all over. Sabi nga ni kanina sa report ni Dominic that Barangay Ginebra is going to go to the post. Nagbubusugin nila yung mga poste nila. That's exactly what they're doing here in the fourth quarter. Take into consideration na foul trouble na itong malalaking mama ni Coach Juan Gregorio. Back to a one-point ball game. Pure Foods on top by just one precarious point, 89-88. Under four minutes to go in the game. Ball na kay Adugul. Hand off to Raimundo. Now it's Mamaril against Raimundo. And Raimundo will miss. But he will score. Making Adugul battling hard to grab the leather. The jump ball between Romela Dugol and Eric Mink. Elton Brand. Ah, saves it. To the run. Back. Last touch on Mamaril. 
You know, that's why you don't save the base, uh, the <laughs> ball at the baseline. Mga ganun sitwasyon, maaari mangyari. Diretso yung bola kay James Yap. Libre, libre. He never getting away with that one. So, 3 of 34 remaining uh, dito sa ating laro. Ang score natin, 89-88. Just a one-point lead para sa Pure Fruits. At nasa gitna tayo ng isang 30-second timeout. Pure Fruits going for win number 12. Trying to solidify their hold on first place. Ang Inebro naman looking for win number 7. Magkartada po nila 6 wins and 9 losses. Then, Yusin is the shirt of choice for the power dressers. Van Yusin dresses up the modern man, endowed with distinction and a clear-cut sense of style. Van Yusin, best dress shirt. Hey, time, Ray the scores at you. Oh, check that. Wait a minute, yes, it was Kirby Raimundo who scored that basket. Galing yun sa timeout, maganda yung pinawang set up play nitong uh, coaching staff ng Pure Foods. Libre, libre si Kirby Raimundo. Inebra down by three. Meng Dogo, at Dogo with the rebound, atake yung Pure Foods dito. And here's Pingris on the ball, Pingris, no! Helter Brand gets the basketball para sa Inebra. Three minutes to go in the fourth quarter. Helter Brand, the two! How fast can you go, JJ Hilferbrand? You just can't miss layups on this in this league. You miss a layup, the other team is going to beat you down the court and have a layup of themselves. Purefoot still on top by one. They go to the man of the moment. Kirby Raimundo against Mamaril. Raimundo is blocked. And here's Hilferbrand. He will step on the brakes with four and a half remaining in the fourth and final quarter. In this mammoth pick ball crowd on its feet. Ang bola ngayon na kay Meng and Salvacion thought about the three. Kobe takes a three. Nagaya, Kobe hustling for the basketball. Tumama sa pani, Roger Yap. It will stay with Hinebra. And another possession para dito sa Barangay Hinebra. Barangay Hinebra has had about six or seven more attempts in this quarter compared to Pure Foods. Hinebra going for the lead. They're down by one as we approach the last two minutes of the ball game. Bola na kay Elton Brad, double team. And here's Kobe. Lots of time to shoot para sa Inebra. Tubit on the move. Tubit for the lead. Yes, sir! Yeah. At nasa loob na tayo ng outlast two minutes. At it's sa inyo ng outlast maintenance free batteries. Walang dagdag bawas sa tubig. We're going to enter this time out. Inebra lamang 32-91. And JJ Hilferbrand goes fast, really fast on this play. Going under the bridge all the way home. Minebra on top by one. We'll be back after this timeout. Oh, it's a 30 second timeout, so we're hanging on. And the top acting matchup, fast and furious, against the scoring apostles. Scoring apostles, Karina, ito yung magandang uh, pagkaroon na simula sa ating laro. And then they have outscored Helterbrand and Tubit, but in the fourth quarter where it has mattered, Helterbrand and Tubit has come up with a big shot and they now have the lead. So back to action on the court, saktong sakto, two minutes remaining. In this Christmas Day showdown, Pinkris has the basketball. Here for down by one. Ball in the James Yap, the former MVP against Tubi. Yap fires, blocks, and it's last touch on Pure Foods. Hey, ano tayo? May palitan tayo ng tao dito. Uh, Mamaril sits down. Eric Mink is back in the ball game. So the men on the hard court para sa Inebra, it's too big. We just gave Inebra the lead moments ago. Kasama si Helter, Brad, Rivas, Artadi, and Mink. At tumingi ng 30 second timeout si Inebra coach Jong Uichigo para pagplanuhan ng mabuti itong kanilang uh, susunod na ofensiba with a minute and 44 remaining. So coming out this timeout, uh, in this timeout, you would expect coach Jong Uichigo to go to two bread and butter plays that they like to do coming off timeouts. One is a screen roll at the top, the other one is going to the post and obviously bumalik na si Eric Meng, kasi yung ginagawa nila dito sa fourth quarter. Team time, here's our Echo Art Design play of the game, brought to you by a limited by Mark Echo. Top JR Aquino, divided quality minutes 
The back of the first half of play. And back to action on the court with a minute and 44 remaining in this ating ball game. So, dami na palit ng tao rito. No? For uh, Pure Foods, on defense, they have Roger Yap, James Yap, Adugol, Raimundo, and Pingris. And Inebra trying to add to this one-point lead, a slim one-point lead. Ball na kay Mink. Mink on the move. Mink. No, Mink one more try. Uh, Teko muna. There's a foul against Inebra. The Pure Foods are one of the best defensive teams and they needed a defensive stop sa pagkakataon na yun and they got it and, you know, critical doon, ang importante doon pagkatapos sila makuha yung defensive stop they boxed out and they forced Eric Mack to give up a, a, a loose ball foul and now your penalty situation on Ginebra comes into play but it's Adoko is on the line and he's one, of, one out of three tonight They got one out of four. Now Adogo can tie the ball game with a conversion here. Rebound by the Hilton brand. And here's Rivas. Some semblance of pressure provided by Pure Foods. Oh, here's Hilton brand. And Rivas says, yeah, hypothetic probably. We're on top by one with a minute and 19 to go in the ball game. Six to shoot para sa Hinebra. Heltobrand has the ball. Two big, four, three. Sinebra. Raimundo with the rebound. And that's going to mean free throws for Kirby Raimundo. Dalawang pagkakataon. Si Eric Mick nagbigay siya ng loose ball foul. And we did mention, penalty na nga. You're really giving a Pure Foods a chance to come back. Kasi hindi na sila nag-uubos ng oras. Nasa free throw line sila. Kanina they got away with it with a Ducol. I don't think Ray Kirby Raimundo is capable of missing two at this point. You are absolutely correct. Has been, he has been the man of the moment. This is the second half. And ngayon, tinabla niya ang ating laro. 92 all with a minute and nine to go. And Raimundo gives Pure Foods the lead. 93-92. And we will enter the Sinebra timeout. With one minute and nine seconds remaining, ito yung uh, sweet uh, layup uh, ni uh, JJ Helterbrand kanina. The Helterbrand and the Jin Kings really hoping to give their fans a Christmas Day present. Kung pamaskot aginaldo on Christmas Day, but they're down by one. Here's our Grand Matador Brandy Blazing player. Yan po si Eric Mink. Nabit sa inyo ng Grand Matador Brandy. Tuloy ang init. 19 points so far for the former PBA MVP. But will it be enough? They are down by one. 19 seconds to shoot. Ball na kay Tubit. They want to go inside to Mink. Because Adugol is in foul trouble. Helter Brandt to Salva Short for three. Yes, that's a Sunday special! Pico, what a shot by Sunday Salvacion at the start of this coverage. Tinanong natin, masasalba niya pa kaya itong Barangay Hinebra? That's his answer right there, this three-point shot. When Hinebra needed a basket, they went to Salvacion to save the day, a Sunday special. And Salvacion now with 21 points in the ball game. Inebra, top by two. Itong ating Christmas Day crowd, a close to 19,000 fans enjoying every minute of this showdown. Nang dalawang usunan, na isa ang hangarin, ayan ay pasayahin. Yung kanilang mga libo-libong fans uh, na nandito sa loob ng Big Dome, nagsisiksigan, nagsisigawan, naghihiyawan, nagpapalakpakan. At ang usapan namin ni James Yap, dadali namin ang aming mga magagandang may bahay. Ay, you know? Yun, marami. Uh, yan ang aking uh, baby daughter. Okay, back to action on the court. 
Meantime, here's uh, Ethel Brown with a steal and a foul is gone. Well, that possession just started the wrong way but Adidas of Pure Foods and never got going. Alas, hindi nila talaga mahawakan yung uh, bola sa simula pa lang nung laro, nung uh, play na yun. So effectively, I'm not ready to announcement, no? With under two minutes here in the final quarter, yung susunod na foul ng uh, Pure Foods, although technically wala pa sila sa penalty, it will send a Hinebra player to the line. The Pure Foods now required to make another stop to keep this a one-possession ball game. Hinebra up by two, ball na kay Helter Brand, and he is going to find the best scoring opportunity here. Eight to shoot para sa Hinebra. And here's White, Helter Brand has the ball. Aliyon leaves this, and he will miss! Very lucky fingers, and Pure Foods can tie the game with a basket here. They both the loses the ball. And I wasn't really sure why Raimundo was in, was in such a hurry. We were looking at the shot clock as even worse, that is his sixth personal foul. We were looking at the shot clock when he got the rebound, Nico. There were 25 seconds remaining, so a lot of time to set up a play. As you can see right here, broken play ang nangyari doon, pero nagkaroon pa rin ang pagkakataon ng Barangay Hinebra. You look at the clock, if you notice it, 25 seconds, lots of guards around, but that's what happens when you have centers or power forwards bringing down the basketball. Yung mga mariliyat, nakakasundot sila kagad. But you know, Kirby has to be one of the best ball handlers among the big men here. But they have so much time to use uh, in that position. It seemed like in the, you know, players have their, their own analog clocks in their heads. It seemed that, uh, or automatic clock, it seems that to si Kirby, ang pakiramdam niya, paubos na yung oras at kina, kina, kinakailangan na na mag-attempt sila kagad. And so Tubid with a chance to make it a four-point ball game with 19 seconds to go in the fourth quarter. And you hear the roar. Unmistakably, mula sa barangay, big dog, and they might be 19 seconds away from celebrating a Christmas victory para sa Hinebra. PBA, yan, yeah, si Magu Marjon, who claims to be nice, at si Bujing Akot, Magu claims to be naughty. <laughs> Maybe it's the other way around. Exactly. If you can write something like that, that means that you're naughty. <laughs> what a naughty thing to do. <laughs> Merry Christmas sa ating mga kaibigan sa Radio PBA. Over DZSR 918 kHz. And once again, uh, maligayang maligayang Pasko sa lahat ng mga kaibigan natin na nandito sa loob ng Big Dog at sa lahat ng nanonood sa kanilang mga tahanan together with their families and loved ones. We wish all of you a very, very peaceful and prosperous Christmas. Oh, si Boss Danny, who's always prosperous. Amigo, basahin muna natin ang sitwasyon ngayon. Pure Foods doesn't have any more timeouts. They're down by four with 19 seconds to go. So, ibig sabihin niya, eh, malamang itong Pure Foods, they have to go for a three-point shot early unless they're hoping na itong uh, Barangay Hinebra will still miss free throws on the other end. Two free throws at that. Here's that three-pointer on the way. Top chance. Kaya lang, eh, pinulak niya itong si uh, Rafi Rivas. Third personal para kay Sands, kanya lang, penalty na po ang uh, Pure Foods because that is their second uh, foul, team foul, in, uh, with under two minutes to go. Kaya uh, tutungo sa free throw line si Rafi Davis. Now remember, Hinebra had free throw shooting problems throughout this ball game. Bago nito, Ronald Tubit made two free throws to make it a two-possession ball game. Rafi Rivas needs at least one. Well, he got one out of two. Wala na pong timeouts on Pure Foods. 12 seconds to go. Simon nagmamadali. And here's Rob Sands for three. Yes, sir! TM Chris! Hindi pa po sumusuko ang Pure Foods dito. 
And they will send men to the free throw line. Okay. We would have wanted to send Artadi to the line. Exactly. Ito nga Barangay Hinebra got away with one. And Earfoods knew that they missed an opportunity. Unang inbound ng bola. Diretso kay Artadi. If you had a choice in that lineup, you would probably choose Artadi or Rivas. Instead, si Men ang kanilang uh, ipapadala sa free throw line. First free throw is good. We got uh, three point lead po ito. Para sa Hinebra, 99-96. And this might be the icing on the Christmas cake. Here's Pingris. He was down by four. And Pingris. Oh, it's oh. Oh. Up. Oh. Wait a minute. Now this will make it a two-point ball game. And with his bonus free throw para kay Pingris, he can choose. Okay, he can choose to miss. And this is just a poor foul right there. No need. Will Pingris miss it? Here's the miss. I don't know who read this. And that will do it. Ginebra wins on Christmas Day. Well, one of the problems for the Secure Foods, they wanted to miss, they wanted to get the rebound. Problema, Romel, Aduco, and Kirby Raimundo both fouled out. They did not have the rebounders needed, even if Mark Pingris missed that basketball. Now it's going to be a very, very Christmas para sa mga taga-barangay Big Dome. Tanalo Ginebra by 2, 198 over Pure Foods. And our final score, it's a San Miguel Beer, Bale Pilsen, a beer na walang katula. And now let's go to our Gatorade game turning point. Well, this was a big shot out of a broken play. Actually, this wasn't a broken play. Set up para dito kay Sunday Salvation. Pure Foods wanting to make sure no one, uh, no one gets it at the paint. Leaving Sunday, Sunday delivers. Brought to you by Gatorade. Is it in you? Certainly was in Sunday Salvation. Uh, Sunday Salvation, 21 points and 8 rebounds. Second straight game na magandang nila ni Sunday Salvation. He was the key dahil wala si Mark Kagiwa. Kailangan may pumutok sa wing and that guy was Sunday. Well, sa Bernes, eh, makita kita tayo ulit dito sa Big Dome for the last game day of the year 2007. We'll kick things off with a stick PBA followed by the game between Santa Lucia. Hottest team in the PBA now. Nakalabanin ng Wellcoat and then Magnolia meets Air 21 in the second game. Yan ang ating uh, final uh, doubleheader of the year 2007. So, we thank you for joining us uh, dito sa Christmas Day presentation ng uh, PBA. Sa kala ng lahat ng bumubo ng ABC Sports at ng PBA, Merry, Merry, Merry Christmas sa inyong lahat. Sa kala ni Dominic Uy, Richard Del Rosario, Kunito Hedson, uh, Peach Sabire, my partner Jason Webb, and the hard-working and creative and talented people of ABC5. Ako po si Miko Halili nagsasabing maligayang, maligayang Pasko. Tanalo po Alaska, laban sa Red Bull kanina, at ngayon lang tinalo ang Ginebra, ang Pure Foods. Maligayang Pasko, Vela Alto, Filipinas, this is the PBA on ABC.